I have my Vision Pro here again. And this is a good reason why you should read instructions. I've been trying to get this to turn on for about five minutes. And one thing that I noticed that kind of was a, a giveaway, and this is gonna seem silly, but I noticed that the grill on the dongle side was the wrong direction, which got me thinking maybe you have to use the battery too. <laughs> so yeah, uh, my last video said that you don't have to use the battery. That's a lie. You have to use the battery and you have to plug it in. So they're gonna be two wires, one going into your pocket and the other one going into your computer. So let me get this set up the correct way. And uh, yeah, I wanna get this out as quickly as possible just in case anybody saw my last video and they are struggling. You know, I don't want them to be struggling like that. So this side right here, this is the dongle. All right, so the dongle actually goes on the right hand side, this side here. So what I've done is I've already taken out both sides and I've also learned a little bit about how to make sure that this gets seated in there properly. Hopefully audio focus is able to keep up with this. But what I found is that if you do it at an angle and you kind of like use a little bit of torque to get in there, it'll lock in place. Uh, and you want to make sure that it actually gets locked in place because um, you know, you don't want this to come out. So it's locked in place. And I use my, my new little method of torquing it to kind of push it in. And then uh, I'm going to also put in the original thing. So that was the mistake that I made last time. And the same thing, I'm going to put it at an angle and kind of uh, push it in and then pull and that locks it in place. Now I can put the loop back on. I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly because I've already done a detail. Now there was only one part of that that's wrong and that was not having to have the battery and uh, putting it on the wrong side. But here we are correcting that mistake right now. And I guess I'll have to link to the video to make sure that people know that I know that I did it wrong the first time. All right. So with that, I may as well get it connected to the computer this time. Uh, that's something that I didn't do in my last video which maybe I should have. I probably would have discovered that I did it wrong before posting it. All right, so we got everything here and we're going to get the battery connected. And I'm using my laptop at the moment, but my actual develop development machine is uh, adjacent to me. It's my Mac Studio. This is easier to film because I have space for it here. Battery is connected now. And next thing is to plug in a USB-C cable I have this one right here. This is one of the Apple braided ones that I got with one of my devices. I forget which one, but it seems to work with all my other devices. I can plug my iPad into it. It connects. Uh, it does data transfer on my DJI. So I'm assuming that it'll work here. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. And I was expecting to see a LED there, but maybe the LED is here. So it looks like we may be good. All right, I just heard it start up. So I'm gonna put it back on and see if it pops up on screen. And that's here, right there. So we'll see if it pops up on screen. All right, I'm logging in. Already I can tell you that I don't like the, <laughs> I don't like this development experience. There's too many wires. Like I have wires on both sides of my head now. I can't really move because, you know, the battery over here is, you know, is, is short, but also the, my little USB cable is short. All right, look at that. So allow, yep, perfect. And I now see something that says trust. So before I do that, all right, so I'm gonna put the thing back in now and we see trust. So I'll go ahead and trust. I had to put in my password and it's connecting to my laptop now, and I don't want that, but it's whatever, I guess. So we'll say next. And it's, yeah, the device is set up successfully. All right, there we are. We have Apple Vision Pro. And it's saying waiting to reconnect to Apple Vision Pro. Uh, oh, so you have to go and enable developer mode too, I suppose. 
so I have to do that in settings. So we'll go to settings. And I actually don't want this to appear on my let's yeah, I want that to stay on my screen there. And let's go into privacy and security. And let's see if there's something that says, yeah, no, okay, this is new. Before I didn't have that, so developer mode. And yeah, so we'll restart. Uh-oh, I wonder what that's gonna do for my, my recording that I was doing. <laughs> I was recording that, let's hope that I still have that video. I don't like the restart. It doesn't, it doesn't give you a confirmation. It's just, it just does it. I would have liked to have seen a thing that's like, Hey, you're recording right now. Are you sure you want to restart? That would have been ideal. Let's see here. So we see it's restarting. It does take quite a while. I think for something that you have to put on and off so many times and that doesn't have a built-in battery, you should have a much faster startup time. All right, so we're going to align. All right, cool. All right, so I'm, oh my gosh, it's asking for my, my pin every single time. This is the fourth time I've done it. This is really annoying. And it, it keeps connecting to my computer automatically. I don't want that. I never said do that. It's just doing it for me. All right, cool. So now we're back here. Let's see if I can find that video that I just took. Okay, yeah, it's still here. Perfect. Cool, so now that that's here, uh, we're going to go back into recording. All right, now we're recording my Vision Pro. And now I think I'm okay with, with sharing to Vision Pro. And I'm assuming that it'll, it'll continue to record. All right, now we go, there we go. It's a little blurry. I wouldn't want to uh, do any form of development <laughs> uh, like this. I know other people are saying they would like, like that. Copy and share cast symbols from Apple Vision Pro, 43%. All right, so it seems like it's, it's taking some time to get everything set up, but there we are. It's working now and I'm gonna just wait for all of this to complete. Oh shit. I can't see myself. Uh, if I'm, if you can see the recording, you'll notice that you don't see the camera. So I can't see myself in my screen. If I put it here, I can see myself, but hopefully you can get an idea of what it looks like. <laughs> it looks stupid, stupider than it already looked before with a wire hanging out here and a wire over here. You definitely will be locked in. This is giving new meaning to the term. I'm locked in. You won't be leaving from your desk. Anyways, let's turn back around. See if it'll do face tracking. Yeah, there we are. Okay, uh, looks like we are all good. I can take a screenshot and uh, yeah, I don't really have any apps on my laptop. They're all over there on my computer over there. Hopefully it will be you know, straightforward to add it. Uh, it kind of sucks that you can't use the wireless stuff like you can with the iPhone and the iPad. It connects wirelessly. Uh, that would be ideal. But yeah, this looks to be working. Let's see if I can build this and put it on the Vision Pro itself. So we'll do that. And hopefully the recording still works. We'll see. All right, we see building and I can't make this too big because I can't, I can't really go back. And it's not the, the battery that's the, the limiting factor, it's this little cable here. I do have longer ones, but I've noticed that, uh-oh, uh, wait, what? 
Did I accidentally, did I accidentally tap something? Yeah, I did. Verify the developer app certificate for your account is trusted on your device. Open settings on the device and navigate to general. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is, this is, uh, this is a little, this is a little much. Definitely not a great experience so far. So it said, I've already forgot what it said to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's move this to over there for now and let's try it again. Okay. Uh, has not been trusted on this device until this development, the, their enterprise apps play what? Okay. Verify the developers, all right, for on your device. General and then VPN, okay. All right, device management. Uh, yes. So there are gonna be two that I have to trust. I have my own, this is my company's. Okay, so it looks like we're good. Let's try this again. I just need to get my basic ass app that does nothing to work. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. Let me see. Let me go to the content. Yeah, there's an immersive view. Okay. I'll look at that. So it does, it seems like it compiled at least. And there we are learning vision. Cool. So it's here. And yeah, I've got my little three objects. I don't think I can do anything with these objects, but uh, yeah, we got the relative anchors and absolute anchors. All right, yeah, that's working. All right, so yeah, all right, cool, sure. So with that, I think we can call it. Let me uh, close this app. Oh, it's still here. Oh, that's cool. Now I have no idea how to get out of here now. Maybe that's on me. I was expecting, I was expecting this to launch the app for me and it, do, it does not. It builds it. Oh no, no, it does. It does. Here we are. Perfect. So we're good. And when I close it, we're back to here. So that was just a quick run through of, of correctly installing the developer strap and getting it set up and connected to Xcode on my laptop here. I got to do the same thing again over there on my on my precious Mac Studio here, I'll show it to you. A little precious Mac Studio that's just sitting there. Just a little computer that could. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this because I need to get this out as quickly as possible because I put misinformation out there. My bad, y'all.